You accepted the job. That's good. Let me fill you in on the details then. Yes, please. You will be setting up surveillance cameras in four designated locations. These are the cameras you're going to be setting up. They're delicate machines, so handle them with care. Also, I'll give you a transceiver for communication. It's shaped like a smartwatch, since they're so trendy nowadays. I'll tell you where to set up the cameras with it. Locations will be kept secret until last minute to avoid leaks. Once you finish setting one up, I'll give you the next location. Where's the first location? I'll contact you as soon as you leave, so I can test the transceiver's performance at the same time. If you don't hear anything from me, there's a chance the transceiver is broken. Bring it back here, and I'll fix it. All right. I'm counting on you. Be sure not to get caught by the peacekeepers. They're gonna cut you off if you get caught anyway. I'll do my best. I ended up accepting the job. If this helps Kanai Ward in some way, it could reduce the number of unsolved mysteries. Even if I can't help the whole world become happier, I can at least help those closest to me. And if I complete this request, I have a chance to get closer to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. It's fine to be optimistic and everything, but I doubt it'll go as planned. This is you we're talking about. You're like the Grim Reaper for everyone else. I know one when I see one. Like you're one to talk. Anyway, what about the other detectives who got bombed? You sure you haven't forgotten about them? I'd never forget them. Finding everyone is my top priority. I can work on this case at the same time. Hmm, that's pretty efficient. I didn't expect that from you. Ah, come on, let's go. Oh, I'm getting a call. Testing, testing, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Servan? Yes, I can hear you. So far, so good. Here are the instructions for the first camera location. For the first surveillance camera, I want you to set it up at a phone booth in the commercial area, Marunamon District. Marunamon District? I've never been there before. Oh, really? Well, I'll send you directions through the transceiver. Thank you. Contact me when you arrive. I'll tell you how to set it up then. You look like you're pretending to be a spy. I'm not pretending. This is actual spy work. Let's head to Marnamon District for now. I wonder what kind of murders are happening in Marnamon District. I can't wait to find out. Cases like that don't just happen all the time. At least I hope not. So this is Marnamon District. It's supposed to be the commercial area. Sure looks like it. Compared to other parts of town, it seems kind of uptight. A jobless and homeless person like you has no business being here, huh? Setting aside being homeless, I am working as a detective. Even if I'm still a trainee. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's go find that phone booth. Phone 
Is that the phone booth? I've arrived at the destination. Time to contact Servan. Servan, can you hear me? I arrived at the telephone booth in Marunaman District. Great job, Master Detective. You work fast. Can you go inside the booth and set up the camera underneath the phone stand? Here's how you set it up. Finished. How's this? Good. I can confirm via the video feed. That's it for the first camera. Check your surroundings for any peacekeepers. Got it. No peacekeepers. Nobody here has even noticed me. That's when you need to be most careful. They can appear out of nowhere. Here's the next location. Head to the front of the cafe in Ginma District. Contact me once you've arrived. Hmm... I thought you were like a spy, but you're more like an errand boy. The errand boy Detective Case Files just received another entry. I'm happy to help other people out. Three cameras left. At this rate, this shouldn't take too long. If that's the case, how about we take a detour? I've never been here before. You need to find the other detectives, right? Maybe you'll find their corpses around here. I'm gonna ignore that last part. But maybe if we ask around, we'll find someone who has seen them. I should gather some information before moving on to the next point. I need to get to the bank. The bank? Yeah. The Maranaman Bank is up ahead. It's the only bank in all of Kanai Ward. Which is why the line always takes forever. My colleague who was on break still hasn't come back. I hear there's a really cute waitress at the cafe in Gima district. Maybe I should ditch work and go there. The cafe in Gima? That's where I'm going to set up the next camera. I need to gather a little more information. I'm looking for some people. Huh? Like who? One of them has fuzzy hair and a wannabe bad boy look. Another carries a bag as tall as himself and thinks he's some big shot superstar. S sorry doesn't ring a bell. And I don't think I want to get involved anyway. Bye. This city has completely changed. The branch office I work for was acquired by Amaterasu Corporation. Thanks to that, career employees like me were all demoted. Makes me want to jump into the river. Um, have you seen anyone drifting down the river? Huh? You mean like people? I've been here all day. I haven't seen anyone. I see. Uh, thank you. Maybe you should throw some more questions out there. Huh? What do you want? I'm on break right now. Um, what kind of work do you do? I work at the power plant up ahead. 
All of the rainfall in Kanai Ward is gathered through the drains and ends up there. And then hydroelectrical generators create electricity for this city. Did you know that? Quite efficient, right? That's very interesting. I spoke to a few people, but no one seems to have seen them. Unfortunately, I didn't smell the stench of corpses either. Well, if there aren't any corpses, then they're probably alive somewhere. That's true, but for now I should get back to the job. They might get worried if I take too much time. Next to some cafe in Ginma District, right? Yeah, I've been there before. This one shouldn't take long either. What's going on? There are tons of customers. It wasn't as crowded last time I was here. Maybe they got some new dessert people can't help but snap photos of. Humans love lining up for stuff like that. But only men are lining up. Anyway, this is a bad time to set up a camera. Servan, I'm not the location, but the cafe is extremely crowded. Hmm, I want to avoid any prying eyes. Is there something you can do about it? What do you mean? I want you to set up a surveillance camera at the cafe's bus stop so we can view the main street. Call me back once you figure out how to make it happen. Counting on you! W wait uh, uh, He hung up. What now? What does he expect me to do? How about we boom kill everyone? How about we don't? Then what? You want to wait until all the customers go home? Anyway... Let's look inside the cafe for now and see just how crowded it actually is. It's jam-packed in here. This'll take a while. Can I get a refill for my coffee? Coffee over here too? Sure! Coming right up! Fubuki? Oh? Yuma? You must be here to try some of my coffee! No, not coffee! I, oh, you're okay! How dare you be alright too, Yuma? What? Anyway, I'm just glad you're alive, Fubuki. I am grateful you were born as well, Yuma. I ought to thank your parents. Excuse me! Where's my coffee? Right! Coming right up! I'm glad Fubuki's alright, but I don't even know where to start with her. Seems that sheltered skank is tough to kill. Hm. I wouldn't mind if she died. Why do you keep saying stuff like that? I just hate airheads. Only losers find girls like her attractive. Um, Fubuki? What are you doing here? I am fencing coffee. Everyone says it is delicious. Fencing? I have never worked in a place like this before. It is rather exciting. I have always had an interest in waiting tables. I feel as though I am blossoming with a talent I never knew I had. Are you actually working here? Yes, I am an adventurer detective cocky fencer. Where do I even start? See, this is why I hate airheads. Anyway, how did you survive that explosion? That is a maiden secret. Huh? Uh, okay. What about the other master detectives? And Chief Yako? Is everyone alright? 
Unfortunately, I have yet to see anyone since the explosion. I figured someone would appear if I waited at this cafe. But perhaps everyone died. My deepest condolences. No! Everyone must still be alive! Come to think of it, waiting at this cafe instead of blindly searching is a good approach. Halara often visits here. That being said, I felt bad just idly sitting around, so I started working. And as a result, we were reunited. Mission accomplished. I see. I'm starting to understand the situation. However, ever since I started working, the number of customers has steadily risen. I was beginning to mentally prepare myself to settle here, from the cradle to the grave. Ah, so all the customers here are after Fubuki. Every single one of them has ulterior motives. Say, Yuma, what brought you here? Well, it's a long story. And that's what happened. Wait, she's gone? Yuma, sorry to keep you waiting. I must procure more coffee. Procure? Aren't you brewing it here? I order coffee from the hotel restaurant and get them to brew it. Wait, you're just serving coffee from the hotel? Correct. I... I see. So that's why she calls it fencing. This is crazy. So, what are you doing here again, Yuma? As I was saying, some people asked me to take on a job, so I'm working on that right now. Speaking of Fubuki, will you help me? I need you to move the customers away from the front of the cafe. Oh? Using violence? Some other way. Very well. Leave it to me. Was asking for her help really a good idea? I highly doubt it. Everyone! There's a cafe just across the way that serves even better coffee! This way! Follow me! Hey, that actually worked! Alright, now's my chance to set up the camera. Better get to the bus stop. Now's the best time to set up the camera at the bus stop. Whew, that should do it. Only two left. Yuma! How did it go? Perfectly. Splendid! We work well together! Yeah, I'm sure we would make great partners. What? Was that a marriage proposal? Huh? No! I was just agreeing with you! Oh, right. My apologies. I lost my composure. Phew. I almost became an adventurer detective wife. <laughs> Master has already sworn his life to another. <sighs> I'm getting a headache. Well, since we have reunited, I will help you with your work, Yuma. Are you sure? I am better fit for adventuring than waiting tables. You and I are now partners. You can rely on me. Thank you. No need to be strangers. You can speak to me with phrases full of slang like we are old chums. After all, we are the last two survivors. Listen, everyone has to be alive. 
got the video feed from the second camera a bit ago. This is going great. Seems like Shachi was right about you, detective. The third location is in Kamasaki District. Set it on top of the vending machine near the hotel. I'm counting on you. Next is Kamasaki District. <sighs> I'm tired of these errands. Where can we find more corpses? Maybe a corpse in a kimono hung upside down, or corpses with their heads swapped. You shouldn't joke about that. It could actually happen in this city. Yuma, are you talking to an invisible person? Huh? Did she notice me? I heard it just now. A creepy man's voice talking about a camera. Oh, you mean this? It's a transceiver. The voice is my client. I'm receiving instructions through it. Oh, is that so? Apologies for my ignorance. That sure freaked me out. I thought she heard my voice. I have lived inside a mansion since I was young, and know little about the ways of the world. I am so naive that the servants call me dummy thick behind my back. I don't think that's what they meant. Anyway, it's never too late to learn new things. I mean, take me for example. I've forgotten everything, but I'm still alive. That is true. I am much better off when compared to the state your head is in, Yuma. R right. In any case, I now know that is a transceiver. Your client must be so small to fit inside there. Is she really a master detective? She'd struggle to live even a normal life. I can't deny that. Anyway, we have a princess from Wonderland here, so have fun escorting her. I'm getting worried. We have to get to the vending machine near the hotel in Kamasaki District. I was considering proposing a new uniform to the World Detective Organization. Huh? That's... sudden? The barista outfit I wore earlier seems quite popular. So I figured the WDO would benefit from a uniform with a similar design. Popular? Yes! All the customers were unable to keep their eyes off of my chest and skirt. The design must be so splendid, they were literally unable to look away. I think they were just checking her out. I am confident you would look great in it as well, Yuma. I think I'll pass on that. 